right, guys, happy Father's Day to everybody out there, all those dads out there. Um, uh, in this video today, on this Sunday, again, Father's Day, uh, last night in Las Vegas, the WWE had a house show. Um, now, here is the issue that I have that went, up, went on in this house show, okay? Um, Jack Swagger had a match. Well, apparently, his opponent came out. The theme music was played. And whose was it? CM Punk's. So somebody came out wearing the hoodie, donning the CM Punk wrestling gear. The fans went nuts. They thought CM Punk was back. They were actually shocked. And lo and behold, it was none other than Brad Maddox. Now here's my issue with all of this. The WWE had made no bones about it the last few months uh, or a few months ago or so that they didn't want anybody going into the venues wearing CM Punk merchandise, bringing CM Punk signs uh, because they washed their hands with CM Punk. So people can't wear CM Punk shirts. They can't bring in signs. Well, there's a way to get around that for the most part. Throw another shirt over top of your CM Punk shirt, and then once you're in the arena, you're sitting amongst 16, 17,000 fans or however big it is. Take your shirt off. Who's really going to notice it? But anyway, the WWE, WWE was adamant about all this. And then they go at a house show, and they make the fans think that CM Punk is actually there. This is pretty hypocritical by the WWE. They also sent a WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt to the Chicago Blackhawks after they won the Stanley Cup Finals and won the Stanley Cup. Now, they all know that CM Punk is a big Chicago Blackhawk fan. He comes from Chicago. Uh, he was uh, attending the parade. Uh, he has done a lot of uh, uh, mic work at the booth when the games were being played, and the WWE again, you know, threw another dig at CM Punk, much like they did last night in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, in my eyes, practice what you preach, WWE. You don't want people, even your announced team is not allowed to mention CM Punk's name during a broadcast, but yet you can throw digs at CM Punk by having Brad Maddox come out dressed in CM Punk wrestling gear, come out with a hoodie, make all the fans really honestly believe that CM Punk appeared, and then pull this fast one on all, on all the fans. Do the WWE fans really deserve this? Do, do they? The WWE fans have supported the WWE through the good times and the bad times. The WWE fans are still supporting the WWE even though they have mediocre shows. And this is how you reward them? Doesn't make sense to me. Again, WWE being very, very hypocritical on this, this whole subject. So in my opinion, I thought it was a very childish thing to do by the WWE. And maybe they did it. Maybe they wanted to get a response or, or, or some sort of reaction from CM Punk. CM Punk is not going to react to all this, especially directly to the WWE. Maybe you'll see him tw uh, tweet something about it on Twitter or whatnot. We'll have to wait and see. But again, bad move by the WWE. This is the Iceman here on Father's Day. Again, happy Father's Day, everybody. Peace out, everybody.